everybody, Rick Needham handicapping the thoroughbred racing from my hometown track, Penn National Racecourse, Grandfield, Pennsylvania, on Monday evening, July the 11th. And this is my dayatthetrack.com race of the day. Let's take a look at race two this evening, folks, 624 p.m. Eastern post time. It's a mile test on the turf course. Three-year-olds race for an allowance purse of some $32,000. Contenders number four, Regal Revenge. Number three, Mr. Pipit. Number eight, Nap Folly. And number... One golden biscuit. Number four, Regal Revenge, has turned in power run performances in five straight starts, hitting the board in four of those adventures, including back to back power run wins in her third and fourth races back. Jockey Malcolm Franklin has been in his irons on seven previous occasions, hitting the board in six of those efforts, winning three times. He's back tonight for his eighth ride, gunning for a Grand Slam win. Number three, Mr. Pipit. A 9-2 shot has posted a trio of power runs in his last four outings, hitting the board in the pair, including a power run win in his fourth race back. Race 2 summary. Number 4, Regal Revenge, tops my contenders list, which also includes number 3, Mr. Pippet, number 8, Naphtali, and number 1, Golden Biscuit, 4381. In the second tonight from Penn National. Bonus long shots. Let's go to Finger Lakes, upstate New York, race seven. Number two, Smoke and Warrior, four to one shot. Qualifies as a Trackmaster plus Power Pony. Takes a slight class drop. Has excellent early and overall speed for this six furlong sprint. Indiana Downs, race eight, 12 to one bomb. Number 12, quiet by seven. Drops in class by seven Trackmaster units. Good overall speed for the seven and a half furlong test on the Indiana turf. So handicapping from Penn National on a Monday night, Rick Needham for dayatthetrack.com, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.